Welcome to another Fallout hosting tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to go over the installation of Bungie. You can find the same instructions on our knowledge base. First, go to mcp.fallout-hosting.com. You'll need two servers for a Bungie install. The first server will be the Bungie proxy and the second server will be the spigot. Let's configure the spigot server first. You will need to copy the IP and port as we will need that information later. You see I have it here in Notepad already. We will need to edit a couple files here so let's go to the files and FTP access. Type in your password. And the two files we will need to edit are the following. Spigot.yml and server.properties. Let's edit the server.properties file first. Find the line that says online mode and change that value to false. And click save and go back. Next, we need to edit the spigot.yml file. We need to find the line that says bungee record and change the value to true. Click save and go back. Our spigot server has been configured for bungee. Next, we need to go to the bungee. In this tutorial, we are actually going to show you how to download and install a new version of Bungie. So first, you need to go to our advanced settings. Yeah, go and find the field that says look for jars in. Go to the drop down box. and select server jar directory. Click save. Select the jar profile and select custom.jar and save. And now we need to go over to speaker MC and download Bungie Cord. Download the version of Bungie you want. I will go with the latest stable version. Let that download. If you get asked to keep the file, keep it. Now let's go back to the panel. We need to upload the file, so let's go to our files area. But first, we need to rename the field in the jar file to bungeecore.jar. And then click save. Go to FTP file access. Log in with your password again. And there should be a directory called jar. If there is not, create a new directory labeled jar. Click submit. And now we need to go back and enter that directory. We 
you need to upload the bungeecore.jar file to that directory. So go to where it says upload. Click choose file under files. And go to where the bungee cord was, was downloaded. Click submit. And the file should be uploaded. You can see the status in the bottom corner of your screen if you're using Chrome. Now that it's uploaded, let's go back to the main dashboard. Go to our servers, and we need to go back to our spigot server. We need to power that server on, and then go back to our bungee. Now our bungee needs to generate files, so let's run it once. It is going to generate errors, that is to be expected, as it has not been configured yet. Kill the server, and let's go and edit the files. So we need to go back to the main dashboard for the server, go to files, Go to FTP file access. Enter your password. And then find config.yml and edit that file. Now here is the tricky part. We need to edit several lines. You can change the message of the day to whatever you want. In this case, I changed it to Bungie Core Tutorial. And we need to enter the IP and address we copied before. Make sure you get the port down. Now on the listeners, we need to change the query port to the same port that our Bungie server is running on. You can change the message of the day if you want. and then change the line that says query enabled to true. We need to delete the forced host line. Now we need to go down to the host and then change that IP import to the same configuration as the Bungie. Scroll down and find IP forward and change that value to true. Click save. Go back. And now we can go to the console and start the server.
see startup listing on the IP and, hook and port. Now we can go and load Minecraft. And make sure that we can connect to our server via Bungie. Go to multiplayer, go to direct connect, enter in the IP for the Bungie. I already have that entered in from the same server as our last tutorial. And you should successfully join in. That's it. That's how you install a Bungie server. Thank you for watching.